Okay guys, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. So we're with Photocentric, taking a look at the Opus. This thing is massive. It's, it's, it's one of the largest um, sort of prosumer level uh, 3D printers that you can buy today. Uh, the screen is huge, like it's a 14 inch screen. Uh, what's the build volume on this? So it's uh, 310 by 174 by 220. Yeah. So that is giant. I mean, just for context, you could print my entire head in here, which is what I need from any printer. They're going to have to clean that now. Yeah. And that's my fault. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of this is this is clearly sort of more industrial aligned in that you've got sort of you've got huge ball screws in there. And yeah, I mean, it's a top of the range linear rail. Yeah, um, so very, very sturdy. We've got a couple of 3D printed parts in here. This uh, knob here is, is 3D printed on uh, on Opus itself. Um, yeah, we've got a nice uh, bat um, with a pouring spout in the corner, making yeah. it easy to empty. Um, so, how how much resin does it take to fill the vat? Because, like, so I'm just I'm just thinking like this has got to be like two or three liters yeah. worth of resin. No, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean the minimum is 500 grams. You right. Know, that's yeah, the yeah. You need to do a print, um, and and yeah, you could print it. You could fit about four kilos in there. So, the, I mean, yeah. this vat, guys. This is giant like this is this is a good what an inch thick all the way around the outside yeah. so i'm assuming the, the fep is changeable yes yeah, so but what's the sort of what's the yeah. lifespan of a lot of the consumables in the machine yeah so obviously it's going to depend how you look after yeah. it and we do recommend that you know you check um after each print to see you know make sure you've got uh you haven't got any foreign bodies in yeah. there any pieces of, of cured resin um, so you probably want to change it every 20 prints, may go to 30, may go to more than that, but it right. will depend a little bit how you use it oh, fair um, play. and you know, you get used to it. And so uh, unlike with your Magna, which people yeah. can see in the background, that's an absolute beast, yeah. uh, the Magna is daylight resin, but this is, uh, this is sort of more it's traditional UV. consumer yeah, yeah. level resin yeah. of the 405 Yes, exactly. Uh, and that, and that's why it's more open source. Yeah, yeah. So if yeah you absolutely. A, a favorite um, in particular with dental, I guess, you know, if you have a favorite class two resin, maybe right. to make dentures or yeah. something that we don't have in our range. Yeah, then yeah. You can, you can no, that it. makes perfect sense. So then this is coupled with your slicer. So, um, yeah. so you have the photocentric suite that, um, that, 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 that does all your slicing for you and everything. Yeah. Um, so does that all come as like, do you buy all as one package? Or yeah, like how so, does that normally work? So the printer retails at six two nine five. Right. Yeah. Um, and you get everything you see there and you get an accessory box with um, some sample resin in it and, and the software, yes, Photocentric Studio. Um, as I said it works on two uh, PCs. Yep. Um, so Mac as well or only PC? Um, no, it does work on, on Mac as Mac well, Studio. brilliant, good, yeah, yep. So, um, you get everything you need to get started basically. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, guys and girls.